Hello, welcome to Scratchy Sunday. Today we are going to talk about part three, the final part of our Wizard Lizard game. And this video will also be the last Scratchy Sunday video in 2020. And we will come back next year with new content on Scratch and Scratch Junior. Stay tuned. Okay, let's recap what we have done in the last video. We have made sure the wizard will move up and down when players click on the yellow arrows and when they tap on the wizard, a star representing the magic will fly across the screen or the stage to try to hit the lizard. So we continue to talk about the black bar. When something hits it, it should send out a green message and then disappear. When it receives a blue message, it should appear. So that's something our star can hit on it. But from the start, when the whole game is triggered by the green flag, initially the player should not see our black bar. Only when our player tap on the wizard, then the black bar should appear. Let's observe, when the star hits the black bar, the sending green message block takes up so much time. In a way, it delays the moment of our black bar disappearing. So let's rearrange the block. I want to make the black bar disappear first, and then it sends out the green message. Alright, reconnect the red end block. Let's test it. Tap on the wizard, our star flies across the stage, touch the black bar. Ooh, why? Why the star appear in the middle of its returning trip? It's because I accidentally tap on the wizard again. If a player, like me, tap on the wizard multiple times, our star will act weirdly. It just appear and disappear at wrong times. If I control myself, just tap once during the star's round trip, give the star some time to return, then everything will work fine. Like this. But we cannot count on the player to tap just once during the star's round trip, right? So we, the developers, have to do something to avoid the player tap on the wizard multiple times during the star's round trip. Okay, now we know what our problem is. Let's see how we can fix it. Change to full screen mode. Let's take a closer look at our problem. Basically, our game is triggered by the green flag and the user can choose when to tap on the wizard. One way to restrict the player or the user to tap multiple time on the wizard is to hide the wizard during the star's round trip. To simplify, our wizard should be disappeared until the star is back. Here comes our bat to the rescue. Let's choose our bat. When our wizard is out of the picture, we use this bat to replace it. In a player's eyes, the wizard turns into a bat when the magic star is flying out. This is an easy way to solve our problem. First, we want the bat to move up and down along with the wizard when a player click on the yellow arrows. Okay, let's test it. Down and star. Okay. Now our new character, the bat, is on top of our wizard. And seems everything is working fine. And our black bar is also working properly. So, okay. Let's focus on our black bat. We do not want the player to see it when the game is started by the green flag. So it should be disappeared at first. Then its job is simple. Appear when it receives purple message 
and disappear when it receives blue message. All right, it seems working fine in the testing. Simply, we just want it to appear when the wizard is missing and go away when the wizard is here. Okay, go back to the stage. Now, we have to finish our final character's scripting. The lizard. When it is hit or captured by the star, something should happen. So, this should be triggered by the bump block because at last, when it is hit, I will make the game to turn to the next page. As a nice page transition effect, I would like to make the lizard bigger when it is hit by the star. Let me change the number to 5. Let's add the other page. If you want to delete it, just hold on it. Okay. Now we have our new page, the second page. Let's choose a background for it. I am a little bit in the Halloween mood. Let's choose this one, the woods. And let's hold on tight and get rid of it. And find our character, the lizard, somewhere here. Mm, yeah, this one. Okay, this is the lizard on the second page. And it should say something like, you win. So let's drag out the purple block and get rid of this high. And let's type, you win. Or you can type anything you like. All right, that's it. It says you win. And let's go back to page one. Click on page one. Now, we choose the red block. We can see the second page is there. So, when the page one lizard is hit by the star, it grows bigger and then turns into page two, which is our player winning screen. Okay, let's test it. This is just page two. Let's start our game on page one, green flag. Let's tap on the wizard, the star flies out. Hit the lizard and you win. Finally, our game is done. Let me replay it. Start on page one. Okay, tap on the green flag. The star is flying out. Miss the lizard. Then we can use the yellow arrows to move up and down. Again, I missed the lizard. Up, up, up. Um, uh, I'm not really good at it. I still miss it. One more time. Hello. Okay. What? Uh, wait, wait, wait. Um, yeah, yeah, yeah. It should be. Okay, I win. Because this game is a little bit complex, I will provide these still screen caps for you to check in case you have any difficulties in creating your game. So you can compare your scripts with my scripts. Since you are still watching this video, have you liked my video? Give me a thumbs up, please. This is the last Scratchy Sunday video in 2020, this year. I hope I can see you next year in 2021. Again, you can find many other Scratch Junior videos in my playlist. And please subscribe to my channel. I also have an IG account. You can follow me there. Hope to see you soon in next year. Bye.